hello hello my beautiful people of the internet i'm so glad that you're here if you're new here my name is manu and if you're not welcome back it is now fall and i'm still ready for super cute fall outfits and all the good fall feels so for this video i've put together 30 outfits to get my personal style ready for this season because i really needed it i've combined a couple of different fashion styles because i don't really stick to just one aesthetic so hopefully there's something in here for everyone okay let's get started so for this first outfit, we're going a little bit casual, like an everyday fit. I'm pairing black and brown together because I've really been loving this color combo. I've never really used it because everyone says it's a big no-no, but I'm so into it. So I paired these little trousers with a little corset top and a bit of an oversized cardigan to give me like that cozy feel. I also paired it with black accessories to tie in the whole look together and that way the pants can really stand out. Okay, so for this next outfit, we're doing a cute little black and white moment because I never really do this. I love wearing colors, but I think this color combo is so chic. Obviously, it's like the beauty and simplicity and I'm really loving it. I paired it with a black furry bucket hat, a black oversized leather jacket and some boots black accessories everywhere and the little top is white so it really stands out this outfit is also giving me lunch day in new york vibes which is great because it's letting me live out my fantasy and i feel super cute for this next outfit i'm adding a little bit of color i've been super obsessed with green recently and i love this little cardigan because it has a fur accent in the collar and on the cuffs and i'm keeping the same little black mini skirt with the boots which I think pairs really nicely together. And I added this little kind of leather Baker Boy hat to give me a little bit of a umph to the outfit, you know? We're out here to feel cute from head to toe. You can also add some tights to this outfit if it's cold where you live, but I live in LA and it's still pretty hot. But do as you please, girl. So for this outfit, I'm going for something a little bit more light and daytimey. I've got another cute cardigan with some fur accent on the collar and I matched it with some white booties. I also have some light wash jeans for the casual vibe and a red hat as a color accent to really elevate the look a little bit. I would totally wear this to like a cute coffee date in the city or a nice brunch with some friends. Here I am making sure that I can booty pop in the fit because you just never know. So for this outfit, I went with something more authentically fall with the little sweater vest over a long sleeve turtleneck and a skirt, okay? I really love this argyle pattern because it makes me feel like a cute little teddy bear or something, you know? I also paired it with these knee-high boots and they're flat because on the day-to-day, -day, like sometimes you don't wanna wear heels, so these boots are like super fire. Also, if you look closely, the skirt is a faux leather and the long sleeve is a rib knit. So these two textures together in one outfit really elevate the fit, you feel me? Okay, for this next outfit, I did another variation of the same silhouette. We've got the same little cardigan, but now we've got an all black underneath, which I feel is more like a nighttime -y vibe. You can wear this to like the movies or something. But yeah, it just shows that you can wear the same outfit in different ways. Okay, so for this outfit, we're doing the black and brown again because we're here for it, okay? So this outfit is more of like a casual day-to-day -day. we've got the tote bag we've got the yoga pants we've got the boots this is like to run some errands you got a little hat with a little sunglasses on we've also got the black crop top underneath with the brown puffer vest on top also cropped so we can see a little bit of that waistline you feel me girl and i also did what i did in the first outfit where it's all black so that the brown could really stand out for this next outfit, we're going a little bit more girly. We're putting in that little feminine feel with this satin midi skirt in a beautiful sage green color. And I paired it with a cropped sweater vest for some different like textured fun. And I paired it with some black mules, a black bag and black shades to tie in the whole look together for a bit of a sophisticated feel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for this outfit, we're trying some new things. We're going a little bit risky with the white cowboy boots, but they're a total vibe, so it's okay. I did a black and white moment with this houndstooth blazer and a simple slip dress underneath so that the blazer could really stand out. But in the end, the boots are the stars of the show, as they should. 
But yeah, I feel like this outfit is super fun and something that I wouldn't normally wear. And that's why I chose it so I can get out of my comfort zone like we all should do because life is short, y'all. Okay, next we're getting into a bit of a monochromatic vibe because what feels more fall than brown on brown, okay? This outfit is definitely something for a warmer day because I live in LA and it's still in the high 70s, but I still want that fall feeling. Um, I did a white high heel boot with a white mini purse so I could feel like a sexy boss woman on a Wednesday on my lunch break because that's always the goal, okay? Yeah, you better work, bitch. All right, so for this fit, I went with a similar vibe but turned it a bit more casual. I added the oversized crop cardigan, also in brown, to keep the monochromatic vibe going. And I dressed it down with black boots and a cross bag that I'm wearing on one shoulder right now because I don't want to take the attention away from the cute sweater. But yeah, this is a very nice and comfy everyday outfit. Okay, so we're going for it. We're trying the oh so popular schoolgirl vibe. I tried to go a little bit more on the sexy side because I'm really short. So if I go all out schoolgirl, I will literally look like a child. So no thank you. <laughs> but anyway, this blazer is thrifted and I really love it. The color is everything and it's perfect for fall. And I paired the outfit with some platform boots to give it more of an edgy feel. And I also did the black headband, which I actually really love. So in the end, I'm really feeling this one. All right, so for this outfit, I got some inspo from Pinterest and it really turned out to be one of my favorite looks. I did a double layering of oversized top slash jackets. So first I'm wearing a light blue men's button up and over that I threw on a brown blazer. I also added the silver shades for a bit of a cool girl look and added some electric blue heels to really keep the fit on more of an upscale look. And I think blue and brown together is perfect for fall. For this outfit, I'm doing all brown again, but this time we're doing different shades together, which I think is really cute and makes it look put together. I'm doing a nice little dress underneath to give the outfit more of a sexy feminine vibe to it, while also pairing it with flat boots to keep it on the casual side. All right, so this is a similar silhouette, but I did an oversized button up instead. It makes the outfit a bit more casual. I did a mini skirt on the bottom, but I think biker shorts would be a better fit. And I also added a dad hat that matches my boots and a tiny crossover purse for a good on the go vibe. This you could wear to run errands. You could go for a nice little walk on the park. You can go on a coffee date. You can do anything in this outfit, okay, period. Okay, so this is another one of my favorite outfits. I'm using the same button up, but with some 80s styled jeans. I paired them with a black faux leather Baker Boy hat and a black mule to give me that French cool girl on her way to a lunch date vibe that we all crave because that's definitely me. I especially love the low bun with the hat because it makes me feel chic and expensive without breaking the bank and that's that on that. For this outfit, we're taking that basic black hoodie that you've thrown in the back of your closet and dressing it up so that you don't feel like you're wearing pajamas outside because I be feeling like that sometimes. I paired the hoodie with the same 80s styled jeans and added black high heel booties and a nice cross body purse. And I also put my hair up so I can look more put together since I am wearing an oversized hoodie. And I feel like this outfit is the equivalent of a soft glam makeup look, like casual but still that bitch. Okay, so for this outfit, I went with a rugged, semi-casual vibe. I paired the crop sweater vest over an oversized button down to do like a different type of layering. And the ripped jeans add the fun element to the outfit. And I did pair it with some simple high heels to make the outfit look a little bit more refined since there is so much going on. All right, so this season, dark denim is very in. So I ended up thrifting this little mini skirt and cutting it up myself. And I paired it with this denim jacket that I already had in my closet. Also, I did a brown little top underneath, but you can pair it with the bodysuit and add some tights if it's a bit colder where you are. And these flat boots are everything, so I just threw them on with this outfit too. And I really like them with the skirt because it doesn't make my legs feel too exposed. 
Now we're back with some green, baby. Little cardigan and crop top combos are my favorite because they already match perfectly, so they do half the work of creating an outfit for you. And black trousers are a staple in everyone's closet, so if you don't have any, go get some right now. And I also added some fun accessories like this furry bucket hat and platform boots to make the fit a little bit more interesting and fun, and I totally feel like a cute brat style, so period. Perfect. Love it. Ooh, ooh. Now, here we are again with my favorite black trousers, but in a neutral vibe. I added some Nikes for more of a streetwear element to the outfit. And we all know you can't go wrong with a pair of Nikes, so if you don't have any, go get some right now. And as always, I did one article of clothing in brown, so it could really stand out. But I always make sure to have everything else match so that the outfit doesn't look too busy. Alrighty, so we're in our cozy vibe for this one. I really love pairing yoga pants with a crew neck. I think it's the perfect combo of loose at the top and tight at the bottom. I added the platform boots because they give it an edgy touch. And I did wear a black tote to keep the outfit on the casual everyday vibe. But I feel like this is a cute day-to-day -day look that you can run errands in, go to the store, grab a quick lunch. The possibilities are endless. Okay, y'all, we brought out the cowboy boots again. I just literally love them, so building outfits around them is so fun for me. So here I have a way bigger oversized crew neck that can double as a cozy dress, and I layered it with a white button down so it could peek through and match the boots. And I love this forest green color. I think it's so perfect for fall. And to finish off, I added a little white purse to tie in everything together. Okay, so this one is a little more edgy, a little bit out of the box, a little raver girl on a normal day. So the star of the show is obviously the oversized Gaga t-shirt that I got at the Chromatica Ball. Okay, so iconic. And I paired it with platform boots and some leg warmers to make the shoes a little bit more interesting. And lastly, I added the cool silver shades so that people in the street can know that I'm a bad bitch. Okay, so first things first, don't mind the different lighting. I had to shoot these next videos at night. But anyway, this one is more on the streetwear vibe with the cargo pants and Air Forces. The pants are an eggshell color, so I made sure to match the white shoes with a white purse. And crochet is very in the season too, so I wore this little crochet top that I think is so cute and comfy. And I would also maybe add a crochet bolero if it was a bit cooler outside. Here I did an all khaki monochromatic look. Even though I have all different shades, it works well when you put it all together. You could also do a tight top instead of an oversized t-shirt if you want more of like a girly look. But I kind of really like the oversized t-shirt look, especially because it's really comfy and I can totally eat whatever I want and not worry about bloating because you can't see it. And I also added these sunglasses because shades have been kind of my new thing and I really feel like they can make any outfit better. Okay, so styling real army cargo pants is one of my favorite things to do because they can really go with anything. I swear you will look good regardless of what you wear if you're wearing cargo pants. <laughs> Here I did a bodysuit with a deep neckline for a bit of a sexy feminine vibe. And I paired the white sneakers with the white little purse. And yeah, that's it. Just a casual, easy look that's good for any day. Here's another everyday look. I feel like this outfit is perfect for when the weather is a little breezy, but not too cold just yet. You've got the hat matching with the boots and the crop top in all black. And of course, every girl's favorite accessory, a cute tiny dog. Uh, look how perfectly he fits with the look. But anyway, I'm wearing my favorite outerwear for the season, a brown blazer, of course, because I feel like it just makes any outfit feel like fall. Okay, here I'm going for a full streetwear look like the whole shabam. We've got baggy and oversized all around, but somehow it works. The hoodie is a little too big because I borrowed it from my sister, but we're going to make it work. Also, it's from Billie Eilish at Coachella, so you know I had to wear it. 
I thrifted this vest and I'm wearing it over the hoodie so it can give my body a little bit of shape. And of course, wearing my favorite jeans because they just look cool as fuck. But yeah, if you didn't know, I'm a professional dancer. So half my life, I'm in outfits like this and dancing just like this. And lastly, I'm wearing the jeans once again because I just love them so much. But now I'm pairing them with a sleek bodysuit to make the outfit a bit more clean and refined. Even though I'm wearing a trucker hat that says, hose mad, but who cares? This outfit also makes me feel cool as fuck and like a baddie at the same time. And what's better than that? You feel me? Work, work, work. And I know you can't see, but I'm wearing white Air Forces to match the white little purse. Okay, that's it. Okay, okay, my beautiful people, this is the end. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel because that would make me so, so happy. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I liked making it because now I have so many outfits to choose from and to wear this season. And that's really exciting because I've never really done something like this before. So yeah, I'm super excited. But anyway, thanks for staying till the end. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. I'll link them all down below in the description box. And till next time, thank you. Bye.